Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho. This movie is uh, supplemental to my first booklet on the Dan Tian and the Ming Man series. The name of this first booklet is The Anatomical Definition of the Dan Tian and a Scientific Definition of Qi. And hopefully this book can give you some answer why many famous Tai Chi masters are obese with excessive visceral fat, with a big fat belly. And the prevention and treatment of this unwanted side effect of an unsightly fat belly are included in this booklet. This is only an educational movie and please consult your healthcare professional for your particular health problem. The author assumes no responsibility and liability of any outcome as a result of the application of the contents of the movie. Please do so at your own risk. If you pause the movie and take a good look at the content of this little booklet, you'll find that uh, many of the topics are uh, the first that appear in the English literature of Tai Chi. In this booklet, I point out a phenomenon that many famous Tai Chi masters have a big fat belly. Like the left upper corner is the founder of the Wu style Tai Chi, Wu Zhanqian. And on and below him is the famous um, third generation Yang style Tai Chi master, Yang Chengfu. And uh, on the right hand side is uh, one of the more famous Wu style Tai Chi master, Huang Pensheng. Ancient Chinese have a lot of vague descriptions of the Dan Qian and its relationship with Qi. Many obese Tai Chi masters try to claim that their fat belly is a sign of their Qi sinking into the Dan Qian. Me, as the Western trained healthcare worker, I have a much better understanding of this unhealthy visceral fat accumulation as a side effect of the Tai Chi practice. Details of my researches are in my booklets and related YouTube movies, and a scientific paper has been submitted too. With this scientifically oriented understanding, we can design ways to turn this unhealthy side effect into a healthy one. Please compare my physical body when I'm 67 in 2013. And this is an example that an accomplished Tai Chi practitioner does not have to have a big stomach. In fact, Tai Chi Chuan can generate male hormone that promote muscle building. Pictures in this frame show your close-up pictures of the Dan Tian Qi Tie Bei, the lower part of the abdominal uh, part that below the navel seems to stick toward the spine. Qi Tie Bei, this concept is well quoted in ancient classical Tai Chi texts. And Qi sinking into the Dan Tian has never been talked about in ancient texts. And the corresponding body part, the Ming Man, is in the back of the body. And that is another important part that contributes to what I call the craniosacral Tai Chi postural reflex. If you ask any responsible doctor, he or she will tell you that exercise alone cannot help you lose weight. You have to have a sensible diet. And I'm sure many of those ancient Chinese Tai Chi masters, they were ignorant of this. They thought that they have Tai Chi and could eat anything. So I'm showing you this uh, example called the overnight diet which is like a crash diet. And uh, this is just an in, uh, a brief uh, 
preview and then I would like you to go and read her book. And then there are many other books like that around and each person is uh, unique and they need a customized diet for himself or herself. For instance, this overnight diet is not good for people with gout because if there's a rapid weight loss, it's like consuming fat in a short period of time and then that would trigger a gout attack. The main idea of this overnight diet is to generate human growth hormone with anaerobic exercise that promote mitochondrial growth and um, make the muscle uh, denser with mitochondria. And also you have to have enough protein for muscle building because the more muscle you have, the more capacity for mitochondria and the more calories you can burn. So um, the rest of the uh, diet rules and regulations are common sense, right? like limiting on trans fat and eat uh, enough ref uh, not refined carbohydrates for energy and things like that. There are three features in the movie that follow. First, it's the demonstration of the smoothie making and second is my self pushing hand with the Tai Chi move as a form of integrated mind body training and the third part is how to sing uh, the Cantonese operas with the Dan Tian. This is the very special style of singing in Chinese opera that use the Dan Tian and also you can notice that that through Dan Tian, the Dan Tian using the pharyngeal voice is a more desired style than the cell pushing hand with the Tai Chi Mu as a form of integrated mind-body training is coming up right after the smoothie demonstration. The cell pushing hand with the Tai Chi Mu as a form of integrated mind-body training is coming up right after the smoothie demonstration. The cell pushing hand with the Tai Chi Mu as a form of integrated mind-body training is coming up right after the smoothie demonstration. The acquisition of the Dan Tian is the must for many advanced Tai Chi and Qigong technique because it acts as an important connection between the upper and the lower part of the body, making the body move as a whole. This demonstration shows how I have combined the self pushing hand with some of the Tai Chi moves. And a learned and special form of breathing required for integrated mind body training. When you have a good command of the various technique and the good coordination, uh, you have reached the state called Dong Jing by ancient Chinese master then you can do the form in any manner, slow or fast. A sample song is coming up. Tai
Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho. This concludes the movie. And if you like this movie, please click like and please share it with your friend in other media like Facebook. And it would really motivate me to make more movies like this if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. Thanks again. Goodbye. Subscription is totally free.